Remember, the top query runs first in a correlated subquery, and it builds its nice little results, not the final result set, and then they run the bottom query, which you can see over here, one time for each distinct department, and now they can bring back all the people making greater than the average salary within their own department. So, looking at this, can you tell me which employees will be in the final answer set? Three rows came back from our example, Smith, Harrison, and Strickling. I wanted to know which employees made a greater salary than the average salary within their own department. I could do this with a correlated subquery, which we just saw, but I also could have joined the employee table with a derived table, as I've done in my second example. Select E dot asterisk everything from the employee table, average sal, which comes from the derived table, from the employee table as E, enter join, select DEPNO, average salary from employee table, group by DEPNO, it builds that information in a derived table. Now, I'm going to be joining on DEPNO equals DEPTI and salary greater than average sal. So whether you do it with a correlated subquery or use your derived table syntax. It's not going to matter much anyway. Check the explain plan out and you'll know which one gives you the best performance. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Begin your Teradata journey the right way with our Teradata Basics book. Visit coughingdw.com for more information. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.